What's up? This is Squire2440 with a Farming Simulator 17 Lawn Care video. And today we'll be mowing with the Walker Mower and the John Deere Mower. So let's hop in the Mustang and make our way over to the Lawn Care Shop. And I thought that this would be pretty cool to kind of drive a sports car to the shop every now and then, especially since we do have a Raptor. And I mean, that's one nice truck to use for some uh, everyday driving, but we'll kind of turn out here from our giant property that actually has some pretty nice looking fence and everything like that so we'll pull out here and even though we do have a sports car we do have to watch our speed we do not want to be speeding anything like that so I think we'll kind of turn over here and today we'll be mowing a few residential lawns and if we do have time I think we'll kind of end today mowing a lot of trailer park houses so I think we'll be doing some of that later on today since those are some uh, smaller properties and we'll probably be using the old John Deere for those and a lot of you guys really did enjoy the uh, setting up of the new lawn care shop and I do appreciate all of your feedback on that video and I think for now we will probably be keeping both the GMC and the Ford and the Chevy so I think we won't really change anything and a few of you guys did recommend that I should leave the mowers inside the trailer and usually before I start the videos I kind of do load them up but uh, I don't want to load them up and kind of leave them just outside and just it's a I would say it's okay to kind of leave them inside the shop so we'll open this up and we'll hop in this but take a look this just fits inside this shop and I mean this is a 30 foot trailer it's our largest one and we might downsize to the enclosed trailer that I built the 25 foot but we'll pull out here now like I was saying inside here we do have the Skag blower the uh, John Deere and we also have the walker we'll uh, close up this door and I really do like this shop a lot the color match is look pretty cool and this garage door just looks awesome so we'll walk around and we can just have enough clearance just about going on the grass so I mean this parking lot seems like a good size but we will be kind of adding on to it for the trailers Now, having a larger trailer like this is a pretty heavy trailer, especially fully loaded, but the mower is doing a great job, which is pretty nice to know, but I think we'll do one of the larger ones, uh, properties today, and then, like I was saying, we'll do a few, uh, trailer park houses. And we are going to be doing this one over here, I mean, this is just one giant house, so I think for now, we'll just kind of pull down inside the driveway. That way it would actually help us out later on when we just want to go just a little bit down the street. So we will kind of put the ramp down and get started mowing. And since we are using the walker, it does have a built-in bagging system. So we do not really have to worry about the grass kind of going and kind of hitting the house or anything like that. So we'll hop in this. Well, I think we'll start off over here. So we'll kind of get started. Now a few of you guys did ask me to kind of dump out the uh, bagger and the bagger mowers in this uh, FS17 you cannot actually uh, kind of empty their grass so it does not have functioning features like that but there definitely uh, is some work and then if we could get it that would be awesome so it looks like we actually need to build some walkways and stuff like that so there's a lot of things that really need to be finalized and finished on this map but for the most part I would say it's very close to release and like I was saying in the previous one it should be released within the next few weeks so stay tuned for that but having a weed eater would be pretty nice actually to kind of go right up against this building wow we are just kind of going inside everything like that but usually that pass is probably one of the hardest and I'm not sure exactly why it's like striping and having the patterns flower wise if you guys uh, see that I'm not sure exactly why but I'll look into that but I think now it's the perfect time for us to kind of get started laying down these awesome stripes and I mean this is one giant property I mean it has a three car garage if you combine all of them I mean it just has a lot and I would like to thank you all for the continued support on the daily content if you haven't already I do recommend you follow me over on Instagram we just hit a thousand followers a few days ago which was pretty awesome I do appreciate you guys for following me on all the other social media websites like Twitter and Instagram 
Now this walker is really good mainly for the leaf clamps, which I think we'll be featuring this in the X Mark Bagger for a lot of those, because like I was saying, they do collect the grass and it really does a nice job since it has a built-in vacuum and everything like that. So a few of the other mowers when I was mowing do not kind of cut larger than what the deck is. So it looks like this walker is one of those that is still kind of doing it. So I will have to look at that, but we do actually have the Skag leaf blower with us. So I think we'll probably start that up and kind of blow down the driveway. Or actually, I think that we'll kind of leave that for the next property. This walker kind of collects a lot of it in. There's not too much grass. It kind of goes on to the driveway. And look at that, guys. This mower is almost tilting when you kind of drive. I'm not sure exactly why, but this mower looks really, really nice. And the mower wheels are kind of bouncing around because I do have a mod that is kind of affecting the ground. I believe it's the ground modification mod or a few other mods like that giving us a few trouble. So I don't have to look into that. But overall, I really do enjoy doing the lawn care. And we aren't really doing too much, I would say, complete 180s, 360s, because if we do, we would potentially just uh, damage the grass, because one tire usually does not kind of move. But wow, having that one wheel kind of flying around when we do turn makes it a uh, pretty efficient for us to kind of turn, but it isn't that realistic. And I do apologize for some parts in farms and where it is not realistic, because I really do strive for the realism. It really does create some great content. Awesome, so we got the back mode. We'll just kind of do the side over here and the front. And over here isn't that large, but it looks like we need to build a patio, build a few walkways, and also kind of finalize the grass, kind of take any out that you guys see in the street. But take a look at that. There is actually a carport. So let me know, guys, should we put that carport there for the mowers? I think that will be pretty cool. And I'm not really going in a stripering pattern right now at the moment, and I know that it's more realistic for us to do that, but it is a little bit harder, especially now since this mower is kind of flopping around or even bouncing. So we'll just kind of go in a circle pattern until I can kind of work out this mower, maybe uh, look into it and see why it's exactly kind of flying up and down. But overall, this 52 inch I feel like is one of the best size decks it's right in between the 48 and the uh, 62 64 inch and even i believe some mowers do come in like a 72 for like the very large ones but we don't have any of those which i think would be pretty nice to kind of get but we just finished mowing here we'll kind of drive right over there to the trailer park and use the old john deere tractor perfect so we'll turn that off we'll walk back out of here and like I was saying, guys, let me know down below in the comments, how should we uh, kind of go about this trailer? Should we kind of trade this in for the 25 foot or should we keep this? And I am working on getting a logo. I'm just having a few problems, especially with it not being transparent or anything like that. We'll come to a stop here and wow, almost just could not stop there. So we're going to pull in here and there's a lot, a lot of for us to do but I think we'll just do like the middle one we'll lower the trailer gate and I wish that we could potentially kind of walk back here and lower it ourselves without having to be in the truck but we can't we'll back this off we'll just leave this right here since we'll be loading it back up but this mower will be uh, shooting the grass out of the right side so we might have to use a stag leaf blower So I think we'll do this property right over here, this one. And like I was saying, guys, these uh, properties aren't really that large. Let's, whoa! Take a look at that. So I'm not exactly sure why this mower does it. I just remembered 
then it will pretty much create like a giant mountain pile. So it will keep doing it, and then it actually kind of goes away. But take a look at that. We just kind of rolled that over. That's very frustrating that we were doing that. So I think we're just going to use a walker. That is a first. It never really happened to me on camera, but it looks like it did, and we kind of got ourselves stuck actually inside of the house. And I do apologize for that. Sometimes we can't really control how the game will react. Now the property line just goes right up to this tree line, so there's really not too much uh, to mow, which is pretty nice. We'll just kind of mow this and then load up. Awesome, so we got it mowed, and you guys uh, probably do see that we are missing a little bit over there, but that is all like the uh, management section, and these people just hire us since there's many other companies that kind of do everything. So we'll load up here. We aren't going to really be using that mower today or the skag since we ran into that problem. So I think we'll just kind of head back, and we'll probably just leave the truck outside since I will have to come back here off camera, but we'll head back to the house. And I think having a lot of single cab trucks and one extended cab truck, I think that's the best way for us to do it. Since, like I was saying, single cab trucks make it a very nice work truck, if you would say. And it also gives you the 8 foot long bed without having an extra long truck. But we'll kind of leave this right like this and we'll hop in the Mustang. Now having the Mustang parked like this makes it even easier for us to pull out hop in this and I really do like this this I tried to match it as close as I could to the avalanche of gray if you would say and I decided to put the dual racing stripe but let's kind of fly home uh, test out the speed and we definitely need to create some back roads on this map but if any of you do have any cool ideas for me let me know down below in the comments hope you guys enjoyed today's lawn care thanks for watching and subscribe for more